am to explain you and to show you how to use and configure the role-based access control. So the role-based access control is a security feature, is a, an authentication solution that is useful for companies who want to restrict the access to the printer to specific users or to make sure that some of the actions are only available for a few users. Um, I'm going to show you how it works without the role-based access control, how to configure it, and then what is the result after having configured it. Okay, so we were on the printer, and as you saw, any user that was passing by the printer could be able to print from USB, to have access to the job queue, or to scan to folder, to network. So what about uh, I'm the IT manager of a company, and I want to restrict, restrict these features to some of the users. For that, I need to create uh, roles and, and users in, in the embedded web server, and I go to the security part. And you can see here that you have an access control uh, feature, and you have different sign-in methods. You have different sign-in methods, and you have the sign-in and permissions policies. So um, you can use as a sign-in method the device user account. So basically, you, you create accounts on the device, and this is what we're going to do now or you can link your accounts to your LDAP or uh, Windows Active Directory. If it's usually a bigger company, it's better to do, to do it this way. But for now, we're going to do a demo on how to create and to use the device user accounts. So how do I create accounts on my local device? Um, I go to device user accounts. I will create a user. I will call him Sergio. I give him an email. I give him a permission, so he's not administrator, uh, because as you could see, we have three roles, admin, guest, or user. So Sergio will be a user. And I will give him a password that will be 4567. So basically, uh, Sergio, to do any action on the printer that is restricted, will have to, do, to use this password. I apply, and then I go to access control to define what are the features that I want to restrict. You can see that we can restrict a lot of features related to paper management, supplies management, connectivity, settings. But for the demo, uh, we will restrict the access to the job queue. We will restrict the print from USB. and we can restrict the scan to network. Okay, so what I just did, I'm saying here to the printer, okay, the administrator can do everything, the user can do everything, but a guest cannot have access to job queue, cannot print from USB, and cannot scan to network. So now let's go back to the printer and see the demo live. See now um, I'm coming to the printer and I want to access the job queue. Um, I go to job queue and as you can see now, the printer is asking me uh, to authenticate myself because I did configure that the guest didn't have access to the job queue. So for that, I need to choose that I'm a user, I'm Sergio, right? And I need to put the password that was for, uh, 4567, okay? Okay, and now I can have access to the job queue. Uh, another example, so for that I will, I'm going to log out so just, for the, just for the demo. But uh, one of the restrictions that I put was also print from USB. So before, uh, when I was going to the printer, before applying the, the roles and permissions, uh, I put my USB and I could have access to the content, right? Uh, so now I'm going to print from the USB. Uh, but you can see that, again, the printer is asking me who you are to check that I have authorization to print from USB. So again, I'm going to uh, authenticate myself with my password. And, and now the, the printer is allowing me to print from USB. Um, another restriction that we put was scan to network. So for the demo, I'm, I'm going to stay connected. Uh, and if I go to scan uh, to network folder, you see that I do have access to the network folder because I'm still logged in. If I did log out, I wouldn't have this, this, this access. So that was a little demo of the role-based access control. On the embedded web server, as you saw, uh, when we were uh, attributing the roles and permissions, you can restrict uh, the users to much more 
um, permissions. Here we give only three examples, but you can restrict too much more. And also you can create more roles uh, than the three that we have on the embedded web server using the uh, WebJet admin.